السلام علیکم ہائی فرینڈس اٹس انجیلا شفات ہے اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو مائی چینل ریڈیالوجی فنڈامنٹلس اف یو آر نیو ٹو مائی چینل ہٹ دا رٹ سبسکرائب بٹن اینڈ دا بیل آئیکن ٹو واچ مائی نیکس لیکچرس آف ریڈیالوجی فنڈامنٹلس لیٹ اسٹارٹ اوور ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک وچ از ایکس ری فلم سو وی وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ایکس ری فلم اٹ مینس دا فلم آن وچ وی کین ڈیٹیکٹ اور ڈائیگنوز abnormalities of a body so it's a material it's a type of a, a material on which we can just diagnose or detect the abnormalities like bone fracture infection calcification means stone etc so in radiology we use particular type of film which is known as x-ray film and it is defined here as a photographic film consisting of photographically active or radiation sensitive emulsion that is usually coated on one side or both side of a transparent sheet of plastic called the base so here very simple definition is mentioned of x-ray film which says it is a photographic film as we have already seen when we take a photograph from a camera inside the camera there is a film which is black in color you might have seen that so it's same as that film which consists of photographically active so here it con- consists of a photographically active radiation sensitive emulsion emulsion layer is there means a material is present a very much important material is present here that is emulsion so it is coated on at the one side or it can be coated on the both sides of the film on what on a transparent sheet of plastic which is known as base here so make a note here that x-ray film has got two very much important parts one is a emulsion and another is base now moving towards the proper construction of x-ray film i have mentioned a very beautiful diagram of film construction here you can check it out here's a super coating emulsion layer adhesive layer then base and then again adhesive layer emulsion layer and super coating i have already told you before that radiographic film basically has two important parts that is base and the emulsion most of the films have the emulsion coated on both sides like this film it has got emulsion coated on both sides so this film is called as double emulsion film why because the emulsion is coated on both sides you can check it out here between emulsion and the base is a thin coating material which is called adhesive layer it's it can be also called as subbing layer it has got other name known as subbing layer or we can say adhesive layer so why we call it a adhesive layer and what is the purpose of it it helps to ensure uniform addition of emulsion to the base means it helps to attract the emulsion layer to the base all right another layer here mentioned is a super coating now the emulsion is enclosed by a protective covering of gelatin that is called super coating to so super coating is made up of gelatin and this protects the emulsion from scratching pressure or contamination during use and processing all right this diagram is very much important as far as the examination point of view is concerned so uh, take a very good look on the diagram when we talk about the thickness of a sheet of radiographic film it ranges from 200 to 300 micrometers or it can be 0.25 mm all right now let's discuss the most important and the basic parts of the radiographic film that are the base and the emulsion first one the base the base is the foundation for radiographic film means it is the one on which the radiographic film is constructed and it provides a rigid structure means it provides a structure which is tough difficult to bend plus uh, the base is the one on which the emulsion is coated it is flexible unbreakable and allows easy handling of films basically two types of bases are available in the market one is the cellulose triacetate and another is polyester but we mostly use polyester as a base because it's more resistant to wrapping means it is unable to get folded up very easily with age plus it is stronger than cellulose triacetate it has got dimensional stability superior when we talk of dimensional stability it means the ability of this polyester to maintain its original dimension with such subject to varying degrees of temperature or we can say moisture pressure is there or other stress is there all right you have to note here that the base has a thickness 0.18 
mm we're very much important as far as the examination point of view is concerned and when we talk about the function of sorry when we talk about the function of film base it is that it supports it was a support for emulsion layer and it transmits light now let's move towards the other basic and important part of film extra film that is emulsion the emulsion emulsion is actually the heart of the extra film it is the material in which the x-rays or light photons interact and transform information it means it is the one on which it's the one of the layer on which the x-rays come and they transfer their information means the picture image of the body part or hair so this emulsion is uh, made up of gelatin and silver halide crystals mixture of homogeneous mixture means it is made up of the parts that are all same type uh, that is called homogeneous made up of the parts with same type so it is made up of homogeneous mixture of gelatin and silver halide very important question as far as objective type question is concerned that it is made up of silver halide crystals silver halide crystals are active ingredient of the radiographic emulsion in the type in the typical emulsion 95% of silver halide is silver bromide so which type of um, uh, silver halide is here mostly used uh, which is in more abundant that is silver bromide the remainder which 5% that is silver iodide now when we talk about silver halide crystals how they are made they are made by dissolving metallic silver in nitric acid when we dissolve metallic silver in nitric acid there is the formation of silver nitrate then this sil silver nitrate is mixed with the potassium bromide to form silver bromide crystals all right so is the formation of the silver bromide crystals i'll tell you one thing that when these bromide ions receive the exposure means when they receive the x ray radiations what happens to the uh, um, electrons from the bromide ions they get released and migrate towards the the sensitive centers means sensitive sensitive centers means those areas where they they can react all right that got that is called sensitive centers so what happens these sensitive centers um, acquire the negative charge because of the electrons being transferred towards them one of the main feature of the silver halide bromide is that they contain the number uh, number of positively charged silver ions such positive ions are attracted to negatively charged sensitive centers and they neutralize the charge with the formation of metallic silver at the center so the metallic silver formation is here this process continues till the negative charge on the sen sensitive centers get completely neutralized and um, and this metallic silver is formed this whole process forms the latent image we can say invisible image or the developmental center so what uh, so this image is not have been able to see with the help of a naked eye it has to be processed processing is must so for that we can do the processing with the help of a scanner or um, ancient times we use a dark room as a developer for the development of processing of the latent image now let's move towards the care and protection of films film must be taken care and protected uh, so films should be protected from high relative humidity plus physical damage harmful gases and fumes light x ray and radio active sources plus high temperature so all these points are mentioned here we have to protect uh, x ray films from them all right now moving towards the other sub topic which is types of film first one screen film it is the type most often used in radiography it has got three characteristics one is contrast second is speed and third is light absorption when we talk about this contrast contrast is the density means blackness uh, difference between the adjacent regions on a plain film of a radiography and when we talk about speed it is the ability of an emulsion to respond to light or x rays now moving towards this contrast most manufacturers uh, they uh, they just um, pro uh, provide high contrast or low contrast films when we talk about high contrast film they provide very black and white image while as low contrast film image is more gray 
Now, when we talk about screen films, they are also available with different speeds depending upon emulsion. In general, the thicker the emulsion, the more sensitive the film and therefore the high the speed. Another is the selecting, when, whenever we select the screen film, it is important to concentrate on the spectral absorption characteristics. Alright, how much it absorbs radiations. Uh, let me tell you one thing here that we have not discussed about intensifying screens. Intensifying screens also use it in um, x-rays and it is a device that converts energy of an x-ray beam into a visible light which will be discussed later on. Here just I mentioned it what actually it is. Now when these screens, intensifying screens made of calcium tungstate, they emit blue and blue violet light and therefore they must be exposed only with the silver halide films. Make it a note here. These films respond to violet and blue light but not to a green, yellow or red. They are called blue sensitive films. If rare earth screens are used, Nowadays, we use rare earth screens. If they, this type of screens, intensifying screens are used, they use, they should be matched with a film that is sensitive not only to blue light, means they should not react only to blue light, but also to green light. Such a film is orthochromatic or orthofilm. So, they are called as orthochromatic or orthofilm and is called green sensitive film. We can also call them green sensitive films. Let's move towards the second type that is direct exposure or non-screen films. They are uh, thicker emulsion. They have got thicker emulsion than screen films and it is not uh, so readily penetrated by light. What happens? These direct exposure or non-screen films are used without intensifying screens while as screen films are used with intensifying screens. Make a note that direct exposure or non-screen films are not mostly used in medical imaging. It's actually used in industries. Okay. Now moving to the third one that is mammography film. It's This film is made up of single emulsion and uh, they are used with a single intensifying screens. And they are used actually for mammography. You know about mammography, the Im uh, Im imaging of breasts. All right. Now moving towards the fourth one that is duplicating film. It is also a single emulsion film and uh, what happens? These films are exposed to ultraviolet light through the existing radiograph to produce a copy. So they make a copy of already um, produced radiographic film. The size of duplicating film is equal to the size of the film being duplicated. So means no change in the size of the duplicating film. Now the Fourth one is dental film and when we talk about dental film, they are produced in, uh, in two different um, principal sizes, one for intraoral and another is for panoramic. When we talk about intraoral films, they have size uh, 1, 1 by 4 or 1, 5 by 8 inch and they are double emulsion films but exposed without screens. When we talk of panoramic films, they are single emulsion films and they are sized with 5 into 12 inch. Another uh, Sixth one is medical imaging films. They are, uh, it is used for recording images in computer tomography, nuclear magnetic resonance, ultrasonography, or digital radiography, nuclear medicine, or PET scanner. Okay. Now moving to the sub another one which is subtraction film. When we talk about subtract subtraction film, they are also the single emulsion and they are mostly used in angiography. All right. So this was all about this lecture of X-ray film. I hope you got that. If you have any kind of queries, questions or confusions, you can comment in a comment session or you can DM me on my Instagram ID mentioned in the description of video. And if you also want the notes of the lectures, for that too, you can DM me on my Instagram ID. Thank you for watching. Take care.